This is your variable valve timing uh, solenoid, I guess. And it goes in right here. This controls uh, your variable valve timing. I want to just snug that up nice and tight. Okay, so this is the variable time camming. If you look in, there's a little notch there that lines up with uh, the pin. So you just kind of slide in there, it's on the pin. I'm just going to take a little look. And that is pretty close to bang on for guessing. Not bad. So then we take uh, this bolt, which we're going to find out the size. And you put the bolt in. And then you install the spring and then the plate. And we'll show you. So it's a 19 millimeter, and you have to uh, tighten it up. I'll we'll have to find the torque spec, and I'll let you know that. And then uh, we have the spring and the four four screws and the plate. And there's your uh, intake cam. Or so this uh, is a 19 mil bolt and it gets torqued to 90 to 97 foot pounds. Next we put uh, the spring in. It goes in. It's got uh, quite a bit of... Got, uh... Okay, I can't do this with one hand, but uh, I got to push on it and so this is the stock exhaust gear and uh, it should just the pin should go into that middle it should line up something just like that here's the timing mark it's a little bit off so I'll have to just turn it a bit anyways you uh, tighten these little four bolts with the square plate on here We'll give you the torque to in a second. So to put the timing belt on, you put an Allen key in there, and you loosen the adjuster, and you put the belt. Now my belt, it has lines. So you put that line to that pin, uh, this line to that pin, and there is a line on the bottom there. So this is my tension. They say about a quarter inch turn either way. That looks about good. Um, yeah, so there's the timing belt so on. Once you get, there's this, goes on after. It's uh, bowed out. And it, uh, it should slide right over like that. And you want the lip facing outward. And then we're going to put the, the crank pulley on. This should just slide on now. Alright. Clean it up a little bit. Anyways, this should just slide on and then put that uh, big crank.